Happy, happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing today? It's the middle of the week. We have made it to Wednesday, haven't we? So when you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. Hello, Miss Vicky. Vicky's the first one in the house today. How you doing? Give everybody about 30 seconds to find us and then we will get going. Looks like I've got a second person in the house. When you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. We are going to be playing around with a school project today. Do I have some teachers? Do I have some sub-teachers? School has started. I wish I'd gotten my transfers more before school started, but they're here, right? We've been unboxing all the goodies. All the goodies are here. Well, most of them. So we're going to be playing around with this transfer. Good teacher can never be erased. Sub-teacher. So this is what we're playing with today. This is a size A transfer. It's a five by seven. And we're going to do something really cool with it. We're going to put it on a house cutout. Who would have thought putting it on a house cutout, right? So these are our house cutouts. So I'm going to offer this as a kit. Um, and I'm also going to offer it, offer it as a finished good. So just put in the comments if you want information on how to do a kit where you get all the transfer and the pay singles and you create yourself or if you just want one that's already finished so that you can have for yourself or you can give it to a special teacher in your life. So these, these are what our house cutouts look like. We've got house patterns. We're going to have some gingerbread houses for Christmas. So many fun things, and we're going to turn it into a pencil today. Who would have thought that would have been a pencil, right? So let me bring you down, and let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to kind of mask this off. So I'm going to use some masking tape, just kind of like painter's tape, give or take, right? Because we're going to do some painting. We're going to do some painting. What we're going to do first is we're going to visualize where the lead of this pencil is. And then we're going to make it into a pencil. And on my uh, personal page, I posted a picture of what we're doing today. So I'm using that picture as my inspiration for this. So let me show it to those that aren't on my personal page. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. So that is our pencil we are creating. So the back end, we're probably going to have to do it in stages because my type's going to be in the way. So we're going to do like the pink back here for the eraser. All I'm doing is taping it off now. We may do two of these at a time because I feel sure these are going to be a hit. These are going to be a hit. When you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. If I have any new people in the house that's never got to play in Chalk Couture before, put a one in the comment for me. One in the comment if you've never played in the chalk. Give me a two if you have. Okay, so that's going to get us started for two of these little bad boys. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do some painting. Now, if you've got some acrylic paint already, you know, at your house, you can so use that. And I probably have some around here, but we're going to make some with our chalk paste. So this is our chalk paste. 
it works great with our transfers, but we can also make it into paint-like consistency instead of just paste. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure this is our paste consistency it needs to be. Let's not have my whiteboards right over it. So when we're playing with just paste, you want it the consistency of sour cream Greek yogurt. So that's where we're going to start. And then once you get your paste to that consistency, because that's our paste, now we're going to change it into paint. So I'm going to take some of this out into this little dish. And then I'm going to water it down. So I'm taking it from paste to paint. Now this is chalk, so it is water-based. It's non-toxic. Um, we're putting it on a wood surface, so with wood, you have to kind of go with the assumption that it's permanent and it's not going to come off. Chalk could come off with water, so, you know, you could take it off. It may not all come off. It may stain, so you just have to kind of bear that in mind when you're putting it on a wood surface. Now, if I was doing this like on a chalkboard or a mirror or glass or, you know, tin, something like that, it would come off with water because it's chalk. So, let's make it a little thinner. And you know what? I think I only grabbed two paintbrushes. That might not be good because I'm going to need three. I'm going to need three. See if this handy dandy craft room has an extra one hanging out. Yay! Which one do I want to use? I have an assortment. That's good. Assortments are good. Poor Nelly. So this is our lead pencil part of our pencil. Probably needed to put some painter's tape down here on the side so it doesn't come off like it just did. It's a lead pencil. It's all good, right? Okay, so there's the lead for that one. Now, for the second one, since I'm going to do two at a time here, let's see, where's my masking tape? I'm going to mask off this end so I don't have that. That just happened on this one. So how's everybody doing today? Has everybody got big plans for Labor Day? Okay, same thing again. I'm just going to do this here at the tip. I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on my black for the time being. And then we're going to do the same thing that we just did with black. And we're going to do it over here with pink with peony for our eraser. So here's my peony. So in the kits, I'm going to have the transfer. You get one um, house cutout, which that's what these are. These are house cutouts. You get one house cutout. You get three paste singles. You'll get black peony, which is this pink, and then you'll get um, bumblebee. That's a yellow. And then you'll get a mini squeegee. So that'll be in the kit. So if you're interested in doing your own kit, then put pencil kit in the comments.
Uh, if you just like my finished product at the end and you just want a finished one, then just put pencil in the comments and I will get up with you after the live. Okay, same concept. I've already got this, the Greek yogurt cottage cheese. Not cottage cheese. Sour cream Greek yogurt. Cottage cheese has clumps in it. Sometimes my paste has clumps in it. They like cottage cheese. Now I'm thinning it down, so we're taking it from paste to paint. So, you know, if you've got some acrylic paints already at your house, you can just use acrylics for this part. But for us chalkers, we have all of our colors, so we're going to use what we already have, right? And hopefully that is enough peony. I wonder. Let's put some more masking tape around these sides. We're only going to be playing with the one side. You could so do both sides. You could. Okay. So every um, week I come live two, day, two days a week. You can find me live on Wednesday nights and on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock for my new folks at 8 o'clock Central Time. While I'm live, I'll give you a share word. If you'll be gracious enough to share this over in your timeline, you can come back and put the hashtag share word and then you get an entry into my weekly drawing. I do a weekly drawing once a week as long as I get 10 shares, and so we'll play my share game. So, our word for today is going to be pencil. So, if you would share this over, come back and put hashtag pencil. You can do that once per day. You can come back tomorrow, and you can do the same thing tomorrow, and then put hashtag pencil number two if it's your second day sharing. And do that each day thereafter so it's easier for me to keep track of how many times you've shared. So hashtag pencil is my share word tonight. At the end of the month, I'll get all my share winners for the month and we'll all get together, which I've got to get with all my lovely no, nope, it's not September. All my August folks, and we'll jump over to the VIP page, and we will pop balloons. Pop balloons with the winners. So the winners club. Okay, we're going to do the same thing that we just did, because we're doing two pencils at a time here. So I'm going to do, this is the eraser on our pencil we're making. So since we have a new month, um, did everyone see my posting on what September's promo is going to be for our Club Couture? Club Couture is our subscription program for our club members. It's $19.99 um, a month to be a club member. You get an exclusive transfer, which this month is Fall Blessings. And you get... Um, Flat rate shipping on everything else that you order when you order other than, you know, your... Well, let's talk about your um, your exclusive transfer. You get the transfer, and you also get three pay singles. You get it shipped for your house for free. And then, if you order anything else in addition to that, it's $4.95 flat rate shipping. You know, that isn't enough goodies by itself. That's going to be orange. Then you also get a monthly deal. So this month's deal is half off retired transfers. There's um, an assortment of transfers that are available. And you get it for half off. How cool is that? And they're size B transfers, so they're normally $14.99. And you're getting them for half off. So this color is called School Bus. 
So we, we were going to play with this the other day, but for whatever reason, remember it was really dry. So I brought this back to life for those that remember when we looked at it, it was really hard. So for this one, do we want to use the school bus? I mean, it's school. That's why I brought out the school bus. Or should I use um, the bumblebee that's going to be in the kits? What would you rather see on this? Do you want to see the schoolhouse or do you want to see the bumblebee that I'm going to have put together in the kits? What would you rather have? Throw me some ideas. Or I guess in the kits, for those that want a kit, you can pick between bumblebee, which is the yellow, or I've got orange peel. That's an orange. That's going to be kind of like a cross between the two. Because this is like a yellowy orange. It's really pretty, like a school bus. Do you want in each color? Okay, that works. That works. Let's see if I've got another little dish. Hmm, we'll clean out a dish. We'll clean out a dish. Okay. I like that. We'll do one in both colors. So this one's going to be our school school bus. It's still a little clumpy, but not near as clumpy as it was the other day. What were we making the other day that we were going to use this color? Do you remember, Vicki? Or Emily or Rhea? Y'all remember what we were going to make, that we were going to use this? Was it, Were we doing the um, the wedding sign? Is that what we were doing? So this color is a retired color. <clears throat> so this one isn't available anymore, but they always have a lot of colors that come out when they retire one color that's going to be close. It's just going to have a different name. So I've got some clumps in here. I'm still trying to kind of... Remember, this is like cottage cheese. So we want it like um, sour cream and Greek yogurt. I'm just trying to water it down. Or was it a different school sign? Did we do another school sign? I don't think we did. I think it's when we were doing the sunflowers on my daughter's wedding sign. Because we done two different sunflowers. And I think we done one in Bumblebee and then we were going to do the other one in a different color. I think that's what we were doing. I think. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. But you know what? We're also not going to have a... Well, I got another paintbrush. Okay. I'm just being careful on the sides because I didn't tape off the sides. So I've taken our chalk paste and I've watered it down and now I've made it into chalk paint. And we're making a pencil. How stinking fun is this? Look at this pencil coming alive. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry, and let's see. So, this one's kind of solid. So this is Bumblebee. I love this color. This is a pretty color. So I'm just stirring them up because I wanted the consistency of chalk paste to begin with. 
I'm getting down to the bottom of the jar here. What can you see the bottom? We're getting down to the bottom of the jar for bubble bee. Okay, we're gonna put him over here and then we're gonna turn him into paint versus paste. And he may end up being a little lighter than normal because I do have some white some dried white in my tray here. Hopefully it stays dry. So once again, got some chunks in there. So I'm just pressing the chunks out. Let's see, I was telling you about our club special for September is half off um, retired transfers. And they were previous Club Couture retired transfers is what those half offs are. So I've got some videos going um, in the VIP page as well as the business page showing you all the transfers that are available. Those are only for club members, but you can join the club. It's $19.99 per month. And then you get flat rate shipping for anything else that you want to buy. Last month, we had free shipping for club members, so that was kind of cool. This month, we have half off retire transfers. That's our deal. Let's find another paintbrush. Oh, man, these are going to be really small. Yay, I got another big one. Oh, these colors are pretty close. I don't think I've ever used that school bus before, so I really didn't know the color of it. I don't think I've used it before. But they're pretty, pretty, pretty close. One's just got a little bit more orange tint to the, than the other one does. There's that one. Okay, so now we're going to start taking some of our masking tape off. And this one's still wet, though. Still, still a little wet, so. Pencil coming to life. Coming to life. Life. So, is this the way we look so far? Does it look like a pencil? What do you think? Do we have a pencil look so far? So, this is with the school bus. School bus, I think it's called school bus orange. Yeah, no, school bus yellow. School bus yellow. It looks more like an orange, but school bus yellow. Hello, Miss Amanda Lou. We're making pencils. So here's our other one. to take. I think we're going to have to hit at this with a blow dryer before I can go on to my next piece. So here's the second one. This one is with a bumblebee. hit at this with the blow dryers. I'm going to go ahead and close up the peony. We're done with the eraser. 
And we're done with the bumblebee. And I've already closed up the school bus. Okay, we're gonna get our masking tape out now because now we're gonna have to do this part right here, just kind of like I guess the brass part of the pencil. Let's see what color is that in? Is that in black? Yep, that's in black in my inspiration picture. So we're gonna take the masking tape and cover up the peony pink over here for the eraser. And we wanted to make sure that the orange, or the yellow, this is the schoolhouse, school bus yellow, was dry because you don't want the um, painter's tape to come off. I think for this one, I am going to put some tape here on the end since it's going to be black. See if this one's dry enough. So if you're interested in having this kit so you can create your own cute little pencils yourself, then put pencil kit. And once I'm done, I'll send you the information. Or if you're interested in just purchasing um, uh, one of these cute little pencils already created, then just put pencil in the comments. We just came out with a brand new designer kit for September. It's full of Christmas transfers. So if you thought about um, having a little side business, it's the holiday, so it's a great way to kind of make some extra money. And you get your hands on lots of fun stuff at a designer price, so that's like a win-win, right? And you get a cute little kit that has all kind of fun, great Christmas items in it. Our kits, um, a starter kit for the business is um, $99. You get $250 worth of chalk goodness in it. You get um, five jars of paste. You get seven transfers. You get this cool black apron I'm wearing. You get three surfaces, you get a 12 pack of chalkable chips, you get the board and base, which is our staple little surface, surface for five by sevens, and you get a nine by 12 porcelain coated magnetic eight in frame. That thing is the bomb and it's magnetic. So you can like put all kind of fun stuff on it. Okay, let's find my paintbrush. Where'd my black paintbrush go? If I was a black paintbrush, where am I at? And then we're going to do this in black. So if you'd like some information on um, our designer kit, then you can just put, um, put biz kit in the comment. Biz kit. Business kit. If you'd like more information on that, or if you'd like for me to send you a picture of the wonderful goodness in it, I'd be more than happy to do that. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got our stripe done. And now we're getting about ready to put our cute little transfer on this guy. Which tape to take off first? Which tape to take off first? So our share word tonight is pencil. If you'd be gracious enough to share this over in your timeline, come back and put hashtag pencil. That'll give you into my get you an entry into my weekly share game. You can share once per day. I come live to visit you guys on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights at eight o'clock Central Time. You can always find me right here playing in the chalk. So here we go. We've got our two pencils made. So now I'm going to hit at them with a blow dryer just so we can dry that black and we'll be ready to put our transfer on top of it. Okay, so this is the transfer we're going to be playing with. So this is a size A transfer. It's five by seven. Okay, I'm going to say, how do you open these up now? So let me find my fuzzing cloth. Because we're going to need to fuzz first. So these are adhesive back transfers. So these are big giant stickers. You can use these 8 to 12 times. And then we're going to do what's called fuzzing it. Let me get it so you can see what I'm doing. Fuzzing it is I'm just making the back so it's not crazy sticky. It's a big giant sticker, but you want it to be able to come off of whatever surface you're putting this on. Now, I can put this same transfer on pretty much anything. I mean, we're putting it on wood today. You can go on chalkboards, mirrors, glass, tin, um, appliances, furniture. Now, if you're putting it on something washable... Like you could put this like on a t-shirt, a tea towel, a towel, um, a canvas bag. This would be cute on a canvas bag for a teacher. Um, you could put it, I don't know, on a hat, a book. This would be cute on a book. Like a workbook, a planner. Lots of other stuff that teachers need. You know, any items that a teacher needs... And then depending on what you're putting it on, kind of dictates what you're using. If it's something washable, then you're going to want to use um, ink versus paste, because paste comes off with water, and then ink is permanent. So then we're just going to place that on our transfer. Let me get it so it's straight. Like so. 
And then we're going to put the writing is going to be in white. I'm just putting water in my chalk paste. These are my jars of paste. The jars for paste are $12.99. I do sell the singles. Of course, you know, if you want to get the kit, the kit's going to come with all the colors that you need in it. But I do sell singles for $2 each in case you just need like a handful of different colors. Just send me a message. And I can help you out with some singles. Singles are normally good for like one to two projects, a size A or a size B project. So what I'm doing is I'm just spreading that paste over that transfer. All that excess goes back into my jar. Going to go back over it and get all that excess paste I don't need. Goes back into my jar because I'm a thrifty crafter. I want to save all those pennies and dimes and nickels to buy more chalk goodness, right? Okay. Got yeah, ready for pill and reveal, and I'm going to do this pretty quick, and I'm going to jump it over to that other pencil because I want to do that before this dries, and we'll come back and we'll take a look-see. Because when you're dealing with chalk and these transfers, these transfers are reusable, but you want to, um, you don't want the paste to dry in the transfer. Because then my image won't be as crystal pretty awesomeness that I need it to be. So instead of washing the transfer bef between uses, I'm just going to knock it out really quick before it dries and get me a second cute pencil done. So one transfer can be used 8 to 12 times, so you can grab this little kit and you can make a whole bunch of teacher projects, could you not? You can make lots and lots and lots of projects. So if you want to grab you a pencil kit, put pencil kit in the comments. If you just want to grab one of these cute little pencils already completed, then just put pencil in the comments and I will send you a message on all the info once I'm done. Okay, we ready? Peel and reveal. Beauty mess. Now this is going to go in my water bath and I'm going to wash it with water so I can reuse it over and over and over and over. For some reason, I'm thinking these are going to be a hot commodity. What do you think? Do you think these are going to be popular? Look at here. Oh, oh, look at that. How stinking cute is that? Let me get it so you can see the end of the pencil. How stinking cute is that? So this one was using that school bus yellow, which that's a retired color. So this was with school bus yellow as my pencil part of my pencil and then the kits I'm putting together are going to come with bumblebee so bumblebee would be this color so this color yellow right here is bumblebee so this would be the kit color so here we go again I didn't just put white on my pencil edge there so here we go guys I just made two incredibly cute pencils with you hope you had fun watching this cute little house transformation into a pencil our share word tonight is pencil share this over in your timeline come back and put hashtag pencil for an entry into my weekly little game so you guys have a wonderful night and i will catch you guys later y'all take care got paint on my fingers